Hello right, guys, just thought I'd do a quick uh, little video on the new figure I got, which is the uh, I Mini Me Town Sheriff, which is um, good and bad. I mean, I'm happy with him, but there's just a uh, few little parts that were a bit disappointing, but. Um, uh, we'll just go through what he comes with first. You get uh, eight hands with him, which is like your standard sword trigger hands, a couple of open palm, a couple of fist, and obviously the ones he's already got on, which is that one and that one for sort of cradling the barrel. Um, then you get a couple of extra foot pegs. Uh, that's the little bolt, the bolt action that goes in his rifle. But it fell out and I couldn't to put it back in, so... Uh, then you get this machete. Which has a little serrated on the top edge. Which is quite nice, would have been nice if the blade was weathered a bit more, but... I'm not going to use that on him personally anyway, so... Uh, and you get a little walkie-talkie. Which is a bit... crap, to be honest, but... Um, it's just rubber. But I'm not going to use that with him anyway. Uh, and then you get a little tiny uh, knife. Which also is a bit crap. A bit rubbery and... Uh, doesn't open or anything. Like I say, that's just be left in the box anyway. Uh, then you get one of these uh, stands with it. Never seen them before, to be honest. It's K Hobby. But I've got a few spare hot toy stands, so I just put one in them, and I just keep that for. Uh, something else, might come in handy and oh uh, you don't you don't get the bat, so I just put that his eggs out that line around uh, then you obviously get his um, revolver Which is nice, it doesn't cock or anything. This one's all solid uh, metal mould. But it looks nice, because it's metal. Then it also goes about this all gun rig. Which is all made out of uh, rubber, obviously, apart from the metal buckle. You get a couple of pouches, but you, I don't think you can open them. I haven't tried to be honest. And I think that's, yeah, that's it. Oh, obviously, you get his uh, bolt action like sniper rifle. Which is nice, this spare. Uh, Bolt just goes up in there and then clips down, but like I said, it fell out and I uh, couldn't be bothered to put it back in. But uh, the scope's nice on the rifle, it's a bit disappointing that the wood doesn't really. You can see it's just plastic, you know I mean, it doesn't. It has got wood grain painted on it, but it doesn't look anything like wood, to be honest. And the rest is just plastic, which is one of the disappointing things because um, when the figure was announced, it said uh, that this was going to be metal, and it said this was going to be leather, but it's uh, just rubber when it's uh, turned up. So, but I mean, it looks okay. It's not that bad. And you also get his jeans. 
weather a bit around the knees sort of area obviously his boots which look quite nice and then the shirt the shirt is nice as we weathered up quite cool does look nice the shirt it's a bit better colour than the uh, what the uh, prototype pictures where it was a darker shirt but this one uh, is a lot more accurate to what you wore and then you obviously got the head sculpt I only got this one, I never paid the extra for the second sculpt because um, this was the sculpt I wanted to put on him anyway so sorry about the light guys, I know it's not great but best I can get in this room but it's sort of like battle damage and all blooded up So the, bod, uh, the body is um, like one of those Hot Toys knock-off things, I think. It's a bit crap, to be honest. Uh, it's not too bad, it's just uh, obviously not as good as what you get from Hot Toys, but it's not too bad. The only one thing about I don't know if you can make it out on the camera, but the head, the skin tone like is completely different to the body. Which I don't know if you can just make it out, but in person it's very noticeable that the neck and body are completely different colour to the face. But uh so I'd have thought they could have just painted sort of the neck at least to make us all sort of blend in a bit better, but And also, like the hands, a completely different colour to the body. So, but I mean, it's not that bad. It's well, I say it's not that bad, really. I think that's just the main disappointing thing for the price they charge you for it. Um, they could have done a bit better job with the body. Yes, yeah, so there is overall. I'm uh, quite pleased I got him. I don't think he's worth the money, to be totally honest. Ooh. Crap! There goes his gun. Yeah, it's um, it's not worth anywhere near the money what they charge for him personally. I think, in my opinion, I mean it's worth. 150 170 dollars in my opinion is what it's worth it's not worth any more than that it's certainly not worth any more than what a hot toys figure is but um i'm still quite happy with him now now i've got him Yeah, so he is he's he is, uh, he is quite a nice looking figure. So if you yeah, if you've got any questions about him, um just pop them in the comments box. Thanks for watching. And uh I've got a couple more reviews I've got, I've got to do, I've got to do um this couple there, the Lord of the Rings and the Mark Seven. Yeah, so thanks for watching guys, and I'll uh, catch you later. Bye.